This is your AFN Misawa News Break. A search and rescue mission in the middle of the ocean is far from easy. The sad truth of it is, is that most of them come up empty handed. Luckily, that wasn't the case last week for an air crew right out of Misawa. Petty Officer Ben Larshide has the story. Within a span of 24 hours, Combat Air Crew 8 from Patrol Squadron 5 went from doing routine operations in Misawa to flying search patterns above the Pacific Ocean. They had orders to find three fishermen whose boat had capsized three days earlier. It's not easy to stare out a window for hours and hours. It's hoping that you find a, a turned over ship or a life preserver or something that would indicate proof of life. So their ability to stay focused and to uh, you know, pick up on the smallest cues to direct us to those guys is just proof of their professionalism. The crew first spotted the stranded men's signal fire through infrared cameras. And as they flew closer, the word help spelled out in palm branches on the beach of a small deserted island. I think what this crew did, uh, finding those three individuals, uh, is an amazing win for the, the military in the United States being out here in 7th Fleet. This crew and the maintenance team basically brought someone's father, a son, a brother back home so they could be back to their regular day life. And I'm very proud of them. This mission has brought a lot of positive media attention to both VP5 and the crew involved. But while they may be in the limelight, they still recognize what's really important. We don't do it for the glory. The crew is excited that we were able to find these guys. It's not every deployment where you can look back on what you did and say, hey, we saved three lives. You know, there's no doubt about it. We had a direct hand in saving the lives of these th three fishermen. So it's going to be a lifelong memory for the entire crew. Petty Officer Ben Larshide, Misawa Air Base, Japan.